were unheard of. Justice Department records tell of prosecutions well into the 20th century of whites who continued to keep blacks in, quote, involuntary servitude, coercing them with threats on their lives, exploiting their ignorance of life and the laws beyond the plantation they were born into. The sisters say that's how it happened to them. They were born in the 1930s and 40s into a world where their father had already been forced into slave labor. So bad I ran away, but they stink. I told my brother, they better come get me. I ran to a place of even worse than where I were. But the people told my brother, say, yo, you better go get them. They come got me. They bought me back. So I thought daddy could do something about that. You know, I told him someone run away again. Baby, don't run away. They'll kill us. So I didn't try no more. How old were you when you ran away? I was nine. Nine? Mm-hmm. It beat us. I said it didn't beat us. We had to go drink water on the creek. We ate like hogs. We didn't eat like dogs. But they didn't bring the dog to a certain place to eat dogs. You're saying they treated their dogs better well, than they treated them? Yes, sir. Gentlemen, as I cannot read or write, I got a friend to write this. I never in school in my life. I worked on this man's farm all my life. I didn't get a cent for my labor until I ran away. I am 35 years old. This letter resides in the Library of Congress, and there are many others like it, archived through the early 20th century by the NAACP. We told political scientist Ron Walters, who is an advocate for slavery reparations, the story of the two sisters we'd met in Louisiana. I think a lot of Americans will hear this story and say, that can't be. That's unbelievable. But you believe it. I believe it uh, because it is plausible. Uh, one of the things I think we know is that uh, these letters uh, tell us that a lot of these places, uh, that they were kept in bondage or semi-bondage conditions uh, in the 20th century, were out-of-the-way places uh, where the, uh, certainly where the, the law authorities uh, uh, didn't pay much attention to what was going on.